Hey everyone, this is Vanessa Cadorniu. I just got kicked out, so I've got to talk faster. Welcome to Spring Equinox. Welcome to the full moon in Libra. What does it all mean? At the heart of it, it's all about balance. Now, in traditional cultures, especially northeastern, northern hemispheres, not northeastern, but northern hemispheres, this time was the time of coming out from being quiet, being hidden, um, you know, hunkering down for the winter spiritually, emotionally, physically. We are stepping out now, greeting Mother, Mother Earth, giving thanks that we've survived our winter, and then beginning to place our seeds into specific areas of our lives so they can grow in holding those intentions. And so this is symbolic. Hey, Alex. This is symbolic, but spring equinox has been celebrated all over the world. It's been celebrated all over the world, and it really is an awakening. And many different religions um, celebrate it in their own way as a rebirth, as a returning, as a coming back. To be able to connect this full moon energy and the spring equinox energy, I would invite you to literally place your feet outside on the earth. If you don't, if you can't do it on the grass because it's too cold, do it with socks, do it with shoes. Feel yourself present. Allow yourself to breathe in the air, to go back to basics, to the simple, to the real. I am here on this earth. I have a heart that beats, blood that's flowing through me, taking in the sun, light, and what we have in our lives. Media and the world around us has built up, you know, all of these goals for us to chase and all of this capitalism and all this acquiring. Hi, Silvina, to, uh, to acquire and to accomplish. The truth is that our happiness lies in the simple, our happiness lies in being present. And so today, spring equinox and full moon in Libra that's inviting us into balance, let us rejoice, right? In the technology that we have and all these modern things, thank you for the hearts, but also in the simple and looking into those beloved's eyes and seeing your children and seeing your loved one, seeing your pets, seeing yourself and realizing that we are still alive that we are present and remembering those who have passed. So with this spring equinox, it's a time of balance. If you've been too quiet and too internal, maybe it's now time to step out into the world. If you've been passive, if you've let other people make decisions for you, if you've ignored certain things, it's time to take action to awaken and say, well, what do I need to do or what do I need to take care of to move forward? If you've been too active and you've been pushing through, maybe today is a time of rest. Maybe today and next couple of days is a time to kind of take for yourself so wherever you're out of balance, this is a perfect day to celebrate, to ground, to connect to the earth, to give thanks that we are present and we are here, and to bring us into greater balance. Spring Equinox is all about harmony and balance, giving thanks for being reborn. It's also in the full moon in Libra, which is a scale, right? And so let's not look at things as good or bad, but let's look at them as, well, where focus more energy where have I placed too much energy? Maybe we've worried too much about what other people are thinking about us. Maybe we need to create new stories where what we think is what matters, right? Or maybe our own sense of self based on what we feel and who we are in the world rather than whatever it is that is around us. Or if you've been thinking too much of ourselves and too inner focus, maybe we need to connect and listen to those around us. So wherever the imbalance is, Let's ask those questions of ourselves and allow ourselves to go into balance. Now, some of the ways we can celebrate going outside in nature is going to be key. If you can get out there even to just breathe. I'm watching the vultures flying right now outside my window in my office. They're beautiful. We have tons of vultures around here. And that's a very, very spiritual because they pick up the debris. They pick up what has already passed away and died. And we need to recharge and we need to release the old so we can make room for who, what, who and what we're becoming. So this is a perfect time and a perfect day to be able to breathe in the air of this springtime energy. Hey, doll face to breathe in the air of this springtime energy, to ask ourselves, where are we out of balance? Where have we allowed our feminine to take over? Where have we allowed our masculine go-getter energy to take over and to act accordingly? Do we need to rest more? Do we need to step out more? Do we need to speak more? Or do we need to listen more? And this is the story of Spring Equinox. You can celebrate it again with flowers, with being out in nature by finding balance within yourself, giving yourself something you needed. I'm usually really active even when I'm tired. And before my retreat that's happening Friday, I decided to cancel improv, right? I usually would go to improv practice even if I'm tired because improv gives me energy. But I asked myself and I said, what do I need before my retreat? It's like, you need quiet. 
you need quiet be you'll be holding space for a lot of people it's like okay so whatever it may be whether you like it or not ask yourself what do you need um, we can celebrate to the flowers on our altar flowers in our home by wearing light colors lighter makeup by just telling people how grateful we are for them this is definitely a time of gratitude as i said the ancients and our ancestors right whether they were in the northern or southern hemisphere when they came out of winter they gave thanks to the earth for allowing them to survive another winter and also thanking them beforehand because they were now going to place new seeds in the earth for the new harvest for the new growth so you're giving thanks right now for surviving winter and also giving thanks ahead of time for all the beautiful intentions that you're setting and for what you will be receiving, creating, accepting, and flowing with in this new time. Sending you all so much love. This is Spring Equinox, Full Moon in Libra, and Vanessa Cadornu. If you want an Akashic Record reading, hypnosis session, or looking for a course, PM me and I would love to have a chat with you. Sending you so much love. Bye. Thank you for being here.